everyone, I'm Noor and today I'm going to take you all through the process of solar water heater installation. This will be a complete setup video. The installation location is in Whitefield of Bangalore. The customer has ordered Vika 200 LPD pressurized solar water heater because they have pneumatic pumping system in their villa. Pneumatic pumping system is a kind of pressure pump used for a number of villas together. One pneumatic pump will be attached for a number of villas like 50 villas, 60 villas or even 70 villas together. It acts same as a pressure pump but just that it is automatic. So the customer has chosen this particular model based on the water setup. Before we start the installation process, let us know about this particular model's specifications. It is a 200 LPD model which is suitable for 4 to 5 members in a family. So even if you have 4 to 5 members then you can choose this particular capacity. We got 200 LPD solar water heaters inner tank material is SS304 and for the inner tank's protection from the rust it has sacrificial anode rod. This sacrificial anode rod or any in the matter should be replaced for every 3 to 4 years because it will corrode itself to save the tank. And the most impressing element of this solar water heater is it has 3 mm inner tank thickness which is higher than any other flat plate model. And the last specification is it has a 1 year warranty on panels and one on the tank. Solar Flow has arrived at Whitestone Rosario in Whitefield and even the product has arrived at the location. As you can see the product has been unloaded and it is very heavy. The panels are 35 kgs each, the tank weighs around 70 kgs and the stand which is the frame that weighs around 8 kgs approximately. The elements are lifted very carefully because they are very delicate and might get damaged on the process of lifting. See how the man is tying the rope to the element to lift it towards the terrace. Now, the elements are being pulled this way very carefully with utmost care. This is the tank that is being pulled upwards. Now, our team solar expert is going to take you further towards the whole process of installation. Hi, hello, very good evening. I am Vishnu, the solar water heater expert from Solar Clue. We have arrived at the customer location. Today we are going to install the 200 LPD FPC pressurized V-Guard solar water heater. Before installing 200 FPC pressurized V-Guard solar water heater, first we need to check the space availability of the site. So you can see in this location, we have a enough space in this area and it is a shadow free. For installing 200 FPC pressurized Vega solar water heater, we require 9 by 7 feet of area and it should be shadow free. So, you can see our customer location have all the uh, space availability and it is shadow free. So, we can easily install our system here. Let's see how the installation is done.
as you see the installation has been done completely now you can see the the install system is consists of copper fins and it consists of main fins per panel as you, uh, as you can see this one is a copper fin. yes guys next one thing and it comes with a 200 lpd solar water heater it clearly mentioned that uh, serial number and manufacturing date as you can see that it written for three year and the system is tested okay okay and you can install electrical backup coil in the inlet and you have to give a necessarily uh, pressure release wall here and you have to give a arv wall there to protect your solar water heater from high time high pressure as you can see the installation has been done and it took 45 minutes to complete the installation now the customer can call a plumber anytime he wants if you also want to buy a solar water heater contact solar clue for more information